Uh, hi everyone, my name is Olawan and I would like to share about my current research about slow sand filtration. So actually this slow sand filtration is an old method but uh, many researchers and many people start reconsidering a bit again about this uh, old method and I believe uh, this method will, will be like a, a future a future trend in, in water purification. So uh, in this uh, presentation, I, I, I will share you about a uh, short history about uh, uh, water purification and the mechanism of this uh, uh, method and the uh, advantage and the limitation of the, this method. So uh, in around uh, 1800s, uh, many people Start uh, start con uh, started considering about their their water is not clean enough, and they have to uh, purify the water before they drink about uh, they they drink uh, the water. So they start to invent uh, they start inventing um, a simple water purification, and later on they call it slow sand filtration. But and the first uh, what uh, slow sand filtration installed in London uh, in 1829. But uh, since the population great get getting bigger, the uh, so also the there's a high demand in clean water. So uh, many people start to in uh, modify this uh, this uh, method and start uh, and many people started. Um, the de develop uh, developing uh, a new method that can produce water uh, very quickly, rapidly, and later on they invented this rapid sand filtration, which can produce water really quickly. But this this rapid sand filtration also has like a, s a several limitation, like it it cannot uh, remove giardia. You know, giardia is is the 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 most common waterborne disease. Like uh, it, it caused the area, you know, and 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 this rapid sand filtration use uh, high technology, so it's really costly. And now these people start reconsidering again the, the old method, a uh, slow sand filtration. So basically, this is the the mechanism of slow sand filtration. It's really simple. So we just let the water flow to a uh, uh, a bed of sand filter, and we collect the water over here, just that. It's really simple. And basically, the main component of soil sand filtration is this tank and uh, the filter bed, the, the sand filter over here, and an under drain system. That's all. And the most uh, 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 important thing about the sand filter, this will form a microbial la layer and we call it smooth, smooth deck or smooth deck in, in German. So this micro, my, microbial layer has an important role in, in uh, straining the, 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 raw, the raw water. So it will entrap the bacteria, it will degrade the organic compound, and also uh, most of the, not most, all of the uh, suspended ma material. And this is uh, the example of uh, slow sand filtration. This is the slow sand filtration at Portsmouth in 1927. So I'm, I would like to share you about the advantages about this related to its design. Slow sand filtration is really simple and doesn't need a high technology. That's why we can use local materials and labors to, to build the, this uh, slow sand filtration. Um, this soil sand filtration uh, needs only m uh, minimal power and and needs uh, requires uh, minimal or even no chemicals to to run, so uh, it uh, it will it will affect the cons uh, low construction cost and also low maintenance cost. And about the microbial layer called smooth deck, it's really effective in 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 removing suspended material, bacteria, and viruses. And also giardia, and because because it's really effective, we 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 doesn't need any any disinfectant like chlorine. So uh, we we will have no problem with the odor or 
even the taste of the water that we drink. And there will be no uh, DBPs, uh, disinfectant byproducts, so it will be low and health risk. Uh, so for my conclusion, this slow, fin slow sand filtration is consume less energy and, no, and we, 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 we don't need uh, no chemicals. In other words, we can say this uh, slow sand filtration is e eco-friendly. And my conclusion, this is the future of water purification to produce high quality but low cost clean water. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, um, for the smooth, can you go back to the slide? I don't know how to say the, the word. Smooth deck? Yeah, smooth deck. Okay, uh, so you never take it out from the from the filtration uh, tank? Or you, you, like you, you have to rip it inside of the filtration tank and never take it out? Oh, yeah. So basically, we, we have to clean this uh, sand filter uh, but we, 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 we need to do this in a long period so we don't have to worry. Just like this, we have, we have to manually scrap the, the, the smooth deck and then throw it away. And we, run the, we flow the water again and let them uh, uh, form a new smooth deck. Oh, okay. Yeah. throw it away, it's not happening like... Um... So it, it happened naturally. Oh, because because it's all organic, we can just dry it up, and then throw it uh, to landfill, or we can use it as a compost. Yeah, because it's organic, so we don't have to worry. Yes, Kimi. Yeah. By the way, in the U.S., because uh, because of the high demand in 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 clean water, uh, so many. Water uh, supply uh, supplies in U.S. use uh, high rapid rapid sand uh, filtration, but most of uh, big cities in Europe already use uh, use this uh, method in in their water purification, like uh, London or Paris or uh, Amsterdam. Yep. Okay, I think that's all my presentation. Thank you very much.